Welcome back to the third tutorial in the series. My name is Damned or Damien and in this session we're going to elaborate or extend the armor class field. So in an earlier session we relabeled defense to AC but now we want to give us a little bit more control over armor class. So in Basic Expert your armor class is defined by the armor that you wear, your dexterity bonus, and possibly a few other things, maybe a spell or a magic item, a ring, something like that. So we're going to add three additional fields in here, one for armor, one for dex, and one for other. And we also want to do a little bit of coding so that we get the total armor class value automatically calculated uh, when we set these other values. So there's a few things that we're going to do here. So I'm going to create a couple of new templates here and I've just called them TOT number or total number and TOT number red and TOT, TOT number green and you can see the definitions here. I have to create some new frames to use in those definitions, the red frame, the green frame and the BW frame and they are the graphic element that goes along with that frame definition. Here's some graphics that we've imported, the just the smaller square frames. Now this is going back to our record car more sheet and I'm adding in some extra fields. You can see I've commented in there, I've added the uh, comment extra AC fields and I've created three additional fields. Now these three fields use the top number template, TOT number, and I've given these the names and sources or values of ac.armor, ac.dex and ac.bonus and I've uh, positioned those and I've put in a tooltip and now I've been a little lazy in this tooltip I've used static text rather than text res really you should use text res to make it much easier for other people to create a string file that will just update the rule set or extension to another language. When we reload Fantasy Grounds, we can see there are three new fields here uh, in the combat frame. I've added some extra va some values in here. So the Toon is wearing a leather armor and has a dex of 13 or 14 with a minus one penalty. Now, of course, this is descending armor being a basic expert and so the minus one is actually a good thing so ultimately this really should be seven minus one zero and then a total of six in that last field so <clears throat> we're going to create a function called update AC and what happens in this function is we collect the values of AC armor AC bonus and AC dex and we sum those values and we set the value in the field defense which in our rule set is labeled as AC and we set that value uh, with that sum total. We need to call the script so this is in the extension.xml you can see we've got scripts character sheet and we've got script name character update and our path to scripts manager underscore dbd dot lua probably will add a few more scripts to that later on. Now I go back to our record car more and in our entry fields for AC armor, AC dex and AC bonus I'm going to call the uh, character update dot update AC I'm going to call that <coughs> when the values of those fields change. So function on value changed, I'm going to update AC. And what we'll see here is these are my values, 7 and minus 1. And if I add another minus 1 in there, say wearing a ring of protection, uh, now it totals to 5. So 7 minus 1 minus 1 is 5. And it did that when I changed one of those three new values. Now there may be an instance where we want it 
where somebody may edit that last value intentionally or unintentionally so when we the character sheet gets opened we'd like it to also recalculate that so we need to use an on init function so when the defense field is initialized we're going to run that character update as well and that means when it first opens up that character sheet or every time it opens up that character sheet it will recalculate that value for us so now if you change the value 5 manually and you uh, close the sheet and open the sheet it should reset itself back to the correct value and also if you change the armor, dex or bonus value it should set itself correctly as well that's the extent of this tutorial so this one has combined some graphic elements with a little bit of coding very simple coding but it will allow us to really manage the armor class a whole lot better uh, in this simple extension. Thanks for joining in and please do follow along and I'd love to see the rule sets or extension rule sets that you guys make uh, as you follow along this tutorial. Let's get your favorite game on the fantasy ground so that other people can play it far more easily and uh, we can all get to experience your coding skills. Thanks.